Mmm. Now these are sweet, beautiful, delicious cupcakes. Yeah. They look amazing and honestly, they taste amazing. Now the reason why I showed you that is because today is my son's very first birthday and we already celebrated that and these came from his birthday party. You know, I love birthdays because there's so many great things about birthdays, right? You get to hang out with your friends, you get to hang out with your family, and of course you get presents. And there's something kind of nice about presents and some good food, right? And that's exactly why we're doing this video because today I got some presents in the mail from Parts Express I want to share them with you guys because I think they're really, really cool. So before I waste any more of your time, let's go ahead and dive right on in. To the speakers, that is. Unless you have a cupcake. If you have a cupcake, go ahead and dive right on in, eat away, but I'm going to go ahead and get the speakers out. Today we're going to be opening up the Dayton Esoteric Woofers and the Peerless Corundum Tweeters. Now why these drivers? Well, I'm going to be taking a look at these drivers and designing custom crossovers for these for the YouTuber Doublesome. Now, if you're not familiar with Doublesome, you're gonna to wanna to go check out his channel because he's gonna be building some speakers that are gonna be a little bit different than the ones that I'm gonna be building. So make sure to go down and check out his channel as well as Parts Express, which is where these drivers came from. First up, let's take a look at the Dayton Esoteric drivers. Now we have both the five and a half inch version and the seven inch version here. You take away the size difference and they're virtually identical. These are some of the most beautiful woofers I've ever seen. In fact, I really wish I didn't have to put these inside a box. I wish I had the ability to put them in like an acrylic enclosure. Because if I did, it would really show off the beauty of these particular drivers. They really are just beautiful. I love seeing craftsmanship like this too, because if they're willing to make it look like this nice on the part that you're not going to see, then you really feel good about the rest of the build quality. I mean, it really does look top notch. Now you have your aluminum that has been polished. It's not a mirror finish, but it is very, very beautiful. You also have dual copper shortening rings and even a vent pole that has foam on it so nothing can get inside the motor. Now they really have tried to think of everything and that is what you expect from this line. You see, this is one of Dayton's top to line woofers. They have done a lot of engineering to make sure that you get not only a woofer that looks great, but also sounds great too. They use woven glass fiber on the woofer which provides stiffness to minimize cone flex. The only other driver that I've tested personally on this channel is one that is made by Wavecore, and they use the same woven glass fiber cone. Now, for those of you who have been watching my channel know I was very impressed with the Wavecore, and I'm hoping that the Dayton will sound just as good. See, all the engineering around this driver was designed for a very low distortion driver and a very easy crossover integration. And with it being an 8-ohm driver, it's perfect for like two bookshelves, which is exactly what we're going to be using it for. See, based off the preliminary sims, it looks like it'll do well in both a ported or sealed cabinet with a relatively so small size box. However, it might be a little X-Max limited when you go to a ported enclosure, depending on how much power you're trying to give it. This does take up to 100 watt, at least a 7-inch, up to 100 watts RMS power. All right, next up is this, the Peerless Corundum Tweeter. Now, this is a 1-inch version of this tweeter. It's massive. I mean, you take a look at this faceplate, it's over 4.8 inches. That's huge for a tweeter like this. And the good thing is the faceplate is relatively thin. It's only about one and a half millimeters or about six hundredths of an inch. It really makes me think that you could probably mount this directly on the baffle without having to worry about countersinking it. Maybe we'll test that. You let me know if you want me to test that. Maybe we can do that when we do the testing of the frequency response of these drivers. Now this massive rear chamber not only lowers the resonant frequency to around 633 hertz, meaning a crossover point of 1200 hertz is not going to be unheard of, but it also acts as a heat sink. This lowers your distortion and even gives you a generous amount of power handling. This guy can take up to 100 watts RMS. That's insane. In fact, I looked over Parts Express website and besides just a few morels, there aren't many dome tweeters that can handle that much power. That makes this a perfect candidate for like a home theater build. Guess what we're building? Home theater speakers. So that's exactly what we're gonna be using it for. Now I mentioned the low FS, that means that the tweeter should be able to be crossed over by 1200 hertz. Meaning you can now use this with a much larger woofer in a two-way without having to worry about beaming issues like you would with other tweeters. But the thing that has me most excited is the frequency response. Its response is plus or minus one and a half decibels from 1000 hertz to 20,000 hertz. And the tweeter doesn't even stop there. It has a range all the way up to 40 kilohertz. 
That means this tweeter should be relatively easy to work with in a crossover integration. Now a few final thoughts on this tweeter. It does have screw terminals on the back instead of like a normal solder points. I do like this better for multiple reasons, but the biggest reason is it's easier to install. Normally with tweeters this size, you have to cut a hole and then you need to notch out the holes with, for the leads. With a CNC, it can be done, but without, it can be pretty time consuming and kind of annoying. This one, you just have to cut a hole in it and it slides right in. Finally, if you have been paying attention, I have a one year old who is very curious and likes to touch things. So this tweeter has a nice metal grill to protect it. Now I am going to be looking forward to this build and I hope that you are too. If you have any questions, just make sure to put them in the comment section down below. Now to find out more about these drivers, you can always check out Parts Express website. I linked all the products in the description of the video. And for now, I'm 123Toyd and I'm out.